Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be using the flower shaker die set from Scrap Diva Designs to make a pretty embellishment wand. I've cut out all of my pieces ready and I've got my little ribbons chosen out to add on to my wand to add to the prettiness of it all. Just starting off with gluing the layers of white card so it's nice and thick and has a lot of stability to it. I'm using this glue from DRK Crafts, which I love when I'm doing big projects. And here I'm showing you my new nails. And it was recently a new nail day and I had to get rid of my lemon nail set, which I was loving. Um, and these ones, Victoria pointed out that they go really well with the roll with it by rosie studio collection so i need to do some embellishments um while i've got these nails to go with that collection <laughs> it's gotta be done um so i'm using maggie holmes woodland grove for this project so i did that piece on the front and then i decided it needed one on the back as well so it was pretty on the back so i just die cut another one and stuck that one on And I'm of course making this into a shaker because I love shakers and it's really easy to do with this die set because you get all of the pieces included with the dies. So I'll stick down my foam layer first of all and I'm using the barely arts glue because it's got a really fine nozzle on it and you get a little like pin so you can put it in the nozzle to clear it all out so it works again and um, so I always have to do that each time because I haven't used it in about a week or so so it needed needed sorting out I love this glue for doing all the fine details very satisfying to watch <laughs> and then I just stick that down and then it's time to add the sequin mix and the sequin mix I'm using is one which I was given in um, the recent group swap which I hosted and it's a really colourful pastel rainbow mix which I thought was perfect for this paper I added lots of sequins in, I did them in the middle and also in each of the flower petals. This project took me, I would say around 45 minutes for in total because it took me half an hour for everything which you're watching now. And then I just die cut all the pieces before the video, so it wasn't very, uh, it didn't take very long, but I think it turned out really nice in the end. I'm adding some more glue on the foam now so I can add the acetate on to conceal all of those sequins inside. Make sure that's all firmly pressed down so none of the sequins can escape. And then it's time to add more glue so I can add the decorative layer. And I just picked out like a very simple black and white print just so it didn't contrast too much with that busy floral. Here we go, here's how my shaker turned out. I love how this looks. And now it's time to add the wand's stick. And I'm using one of these thick wooden dowels so it's lovely and strong. 
and I'm getting all of my ribbons ready to add because I'm going to add them on first. Sorry, I keep bashing into the tripod with my head. <laughs> I'm making you all dizzy. So let's cut all these roughly to size and then I'm going to stick them all on with hot glue. found these little beads, bead strings as well and these are really nice. So I'm going to stick them all on now and when I got my hot glue gun I got this little like finger protector thing so, so you can press it down with without burning your finger and it's the first time I've used it and you've just seen there um, I burnt myself on my hot glue gun this week. I pressed my edge of my finger to a by mistake, the edge of my hand, and it hurt so much. All blistered up and I keep bleeding. Um, so I'm trying to avoid burning myself again. I've had lots of crafting injuries this week because I also trapped my finger in my tripod, which also really hurt. <laughs> From not having much luck with the crafting injuries, um, so I need to be more careful. Um, and this little finger thing that I'm using it was actually real actually did work very good so I would use it again for another project like this I love how these looked I just give them a little trim so they're the same size same length on both sides and then now it was time to stick on the wooden dowel added a generous amount of glue because I wanted to make sure it was stuck on really firmly and that wasn't going to budge I love how this looks you can see a bit of steam on the acetate but that will go once the hot glue goes and it cools down and I've got all of my embellishments out from this collection, so it's time to decorate, which is the fun part. And I'm using these foam squares from Scrapbook Adhesives. I really wanted to use that big Chase Your Dreams and the butterfly catcher because I thought that was so cute. But if I used that, I would have covered up my full shaker. And I hate doing that. If you go all the effort of adding the shaker, then you want to be able to see it. So I actually went with this smaller version of Chase Your Dreams. So it was a nice little quote, so I added that one onto the centre. And I add a little bit of glue. Um, I always add glue even if things have adhesive because sometimes they're not that sticky and I don't want them to fall off. <laughs> so I just add some extra glue so they're firmly stuck down. And this is such a pretty font. So thin and delicate, I love it. And I did struggle to decorate this a little bit because I didn't want to overly decorate it so you couldn't see the flower shape anymore. But then at the same time, I didn't want to leave it too plain. So I played about with a few different options and I did keep changing my mind. This leaf gets taken away I changed my mind on it. I tried one of these little flowers that I've made but it just didn't look right. So I took them off and put something else there instead. I'm really loving the butterflies in this collection. I think they're really lovely. And then I add this little foam sticker. These foam stickers are instead of the chipboard which you normally get in the collection. And the adhesive on them is really strong. Once you put it down like to try it out it, it's stuck. <laughs> I don't need any extra glue on them ones. And then I add these little floral cardstock stickers at either side just to create a little cluster at the top. And I'm playing around with this butterfly to see where it would go and in the end I decided to put it at the top. And I just prop it up on some little foam squares. 
also add some dimension to it. And this is how it turned out in the end. Hope that you enjoyed seeing me create this.